Hey guys, Zach here, and welcome back to Tuesday Reviews, and today for Tuesday Reviews, we have the 12-inch Bandai Creations Godzilla Final Wars figure. Now, I actually really don't like this figure. There's just something about this figure that really bothers me. Like, everything else on this figure is great, except for one thing, but we'll get to that in a minute. But either way, this version of Godzilla comes from my favorite uh, Godzilla film of all time, Godzilla Final Wars. Um, it's the first Godzilla movie I've ever seen. I'm not counting that crap fest by Matthew Broderick, or the one that starred Matthew Broderick, but... Still, this was the first Godzilla movie I've ever seen. The first legit Godzilla movie. And I liked it. It's what got me into Godzilla when I was six, so... Yeah, I liked it. I don't understand why everyone else hates it, because... I hear a lot of complaints about this movie because the fights are too short. Well, there are a ton of monsters, and yeah, we can't have a 20 hour long Godzilla movie just based on Godzilla fighting all these monsters. No, the fights have to go on quick, but you also have to go on with the story, so I mean, yeah. It's understandable why the fights are quick, but still, I don't understand why people hate this movie. I actually really do like this movie. but. Enough of my rambling, let's take a look at the paint on this figure, and the paint, it's just like uh, what the Bandai Creation 6 inch Godzilla Final Wars figure, um, the toe claws are painted this uh, sort of tannish sort of color, both the toe claws and the finger claws. Uh, the teeth are painted the same colors as the toe claws and, or these are the toe claws and these are the finger claws. Guys, I said this before. But I'm going to say it again. You're going to hear me say this more in the future. I am a really big idiot, let me tell you. But enough of that. Um, the tongue is painted red, which looks somewhat nice. And the eyes are painted orange. In Godzilla Final Wars, I don't remember his eyes being colored orange, but... Hey, I guess he had to give this figure his eyes somehow, I guess. You, you had to give this figure eyes somehow. That's what I tried to say there. But most of the body is just this charcoal black, but that's the color it was in the movie. And the spikes are painted white with the uh, traditional black spots in the middle. Although, the black spots on uh, most of these spikes look pretty sloppy, I'm not going to lie. Kind of painted sloppy. Like, the one in the middle right here looks like it's painted okay, but it just looks like they took uh, spray paint and just sprayed this part. And, yeah, it just looks sloppy in my opinion. So, the paint, it gets a pass, it's okay. It's not the best, but still, it's okay. So, it gets a pass. Now we'll take a look at the articulation on this figure. And this figure actually has a lot more articulation than the 12-inch Kiryu figure, which is something else I actually really do like about this figure. But either way, the head can twist 360. The arms can move about that much. The legs can move... 360 and so can this one just that the elbow gets in the way there is articulation in the tail it can spin 360 this is a big figure I'm just trying not to knock stuff over there's articulation here this can move 360 this part can move 360 and uh, yeah so there are lots of points of articulation on this figure, which looks really nice. So the articulation gets a pass on this figure, so yeah, yay for that. And now we'll get to the sculpt. And the sculpt is why I really hate this figure. I mean, the sculpt looks nice, but it looks nothing like Godzilla from Godzilla Final Wars. Alright, so here is his head sculpt, right? And here is the uh, six inch Bandai Creations uh, figure. The head on this figure looks a lot better than the head on this figure. Well, it looks more movie accurate and it just looks kind of ugly. I know I said I just liked it, but actually now that I'm looking at it, it kind of looks, uh, looks pretty ugly. I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's just the head sculpt that ruins it for me, you know? just a nitpick but it's one of those nitpicks where like 
it ruins it ruins something for you. The scales are too big, but then again, this is a big figure, so I could understand why. And yeah, I mean, other than the head, the sculpt is okay. It's just the head that ruins everything. Like, it's like you set up a table, right, for dinner, for Thanksgiving. This is just random, right? And then you have everything set up, right? All the chairs are neatly, uh, you know, in place. And then, like, like, the person who's helping you set up the table, one chair is just in the wrong way, and it just looks stupid. Yeah, this is this figure, because the head just looks stupid. So, the sculpt would be a lot better if it wasn't for the ugly head sculpt. But either way, it gets, it doesn't get a pass, it's just not good, I'm sorry. But lastly, let's take a look at the detailing on this figure, and the detailing on this figure is pretty nice. Um, the body is just filled with these scales all over the place, and uh, a bunch of spikes. Uh, the teeth are, uh, well, they're molded in, but they're painted on as well. Well, they're painted on the outside, not so much the inside. Um, the detailing for the ears right here look nice. Oh, you're right. These are ears, believe it or not. You would think they're spikes, but nope, they're ears. But, uh, more, uh, scaling for the arm and hand right here. Same with the other arm. A uh, bunch of scaling, uh, for the leg and foot right here, and just like the other one, just a bunch of scaling. Underneath, we have a bunch of, uh, creases, uh, and the skin, like sort of like that uh, reptilian feature. This isn't Jurassic Park, but looks nice. Uh, going to the tail, uh, the the scales are painted or er, not painted, detailed nicely as well. And so are the smaller spikes. And I like how uh, each individual spike, uh, they're all sculpted individually, and they're not just one singular piece. Well, it's one singular piece, yeah, but either way. Um, the detail on this figure is actually really nice. So the detailing gets a pass. Should you get this figure? Definitely not. Do not get this figure. Like, if you just... Let's say you're in Toys R Us and you just so happen to see this figure, don't get it. Or if you see it on eBay for a cheap price, don't get it. Just, if you see this figure, don't get it, because it's not worth your money. But, if you want to know how big this is... Here he is next to Dr. Billy Grant. Alright. Now that is it for today. Have a great rest of your week and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Zach out.